Here's a tutorial video on how I change the bat skeleton from battery powered to solar powered. This is a device you're gonna to have to purchase off of Amazon. Um, it's just a solar power solar cell on off switch. And the great thing about this one is if you turn it on, it'll only turn on it when it's dark out. So it also has a, a solar sensor on it. So it won't drain your battery all day. It'll charge all day and then be on until the battery runs out at night. Here's some of the equipment you're gonna need. Um, glue gun, hot glue gun, definitely safety glasses because you're gonna be using the Dremel and plastic does splatter, fly. A um, Couple of different pliers, some wire strippers and screwdrivers for the back of the, uh, the bat skelly's head to open it up. You're gonna to wanna to lay your skelly uh, face down so you can get at the back holes. Um, you're gonna take the, the battery plate off and there's six small screws and four longer screws. The ones around the, the skull itself are the four longer ones. The one alongside the ears and jaw are the shorter ones. Okay, once you take the battery cover off, the back plate off, and all the screws, you just flip the head open. Um, so there is a way of get, taking the jaw off by pressing the, this, uh, these pins and popping them out. I just found that without heating them or maybe warping them, I, I didn't want to do that. So, or forcing them, I just dealt with it. Just leave it hanging on the jaw. Uh, you'll notice the red and black cables going from the originally original bat, uh, battery source. Um, you're going to want to cut the, t the long ones coming from the battery. They're going to the eyes. Um, and then you cut the jumpers. See, these? the battery goes to one eye and then it gets jumped over to the other eye. You're going to cut the jump that goes over to the other guy because that's... You're splicing four cables, uh, two into the ones from the battery pack and two, a red and a black, coming from one eye jumping over to the other. Here's a better look of what you should end up with after cutting the wires from the battery pack. There's just two longer ones going to one eye and then you're gonna end up with two shorter ones coming from the other eye, uh, but only because the shorter ones were used just to reach over as a jumper to the original eye. And the original one obviously had enough to go all the way up to the battery pack. Um, so the battery pack, the uh, solar panel box is actually going to sit inside here. It doesn't fit currently because the battery um, compartment is in the way. Uh, that's all one molded piece. So we're going to take the Dremel and just cut out a section big enough for... The solar pack to fit okay once you dremel out the hole should be about that big i mean it's trial and error how much you have to take off the sides before the uh, solar part fits just make sure you feed your cables in through the skull head it's difficult to do with one hand here yeah you get that in there and then it should just fit quite almost flush it's a pretty good fit. Um, and then all I got to do is worry about, I use hot glue to glue, glue it in place. And then I actually used a little bit of uh, silicone to fill in the gap, that little gap right there. So I've done it on a couple already. So it was just trial and error. And then I use a little hot glue or silicone silicone caulking to fill that gap in there. Next you have to press prep the cables that are coming out of the solar powered. Uh, there's They come with two LED lights on them. You won't be using them unless your lights don't work currently on whatever prop you're putting into. But my red eyes are working. These are white eyes. So I'm just going to cut the cables and uh, take about a quarter to a half inch off of the coating of the cable. So strip the wire to about a quarter to a half an inch. 
There are the ends all stripped, and just do the same for the ends that are coming out of the eyes, or the light lights in the eyes. Now you just match color from the battery pack to the eyes, red to red, black to black. Splice them together, tape them up. So once the ends are all spliced and taped together, it's time to close the head up. Actually, you might want to give it a little, a little test. Turn it on. Yep, both. Make sure you cover the solar receiver thingy. Uh, make sure the lights turn on. So once you have it all closed up, next step is to just um, secure the battery pack in there. It sits pretty well if you cut the right size hole. And then there is a gap here. You could use gap filler, uh, silicone, um, hot glue. I use a combination of hot glue and silicone just because I ran out of gap filler right now, but you could literally use any of those. And here's the final look. Um, I'm sure many of you can do much better, cleaner. Um, you can even hit that, that glue with some some uh, paint, spray paint or whatever. Uh, I might touch it up. I might leave it as is since it's the back of the head and I'm putting these 10 feet up in the air. Nobody's going to see the back. Um, so that's it. It works.